I've got a puzzle for you. I've got three letters at the top here that are all expressed as a union. So this letter can be either one of A, B, or C. And I want to create a type helper to remove one of the letters. So how do I do that? Because you think of like when something is an object or something is an array, you can usually kind of map over it. There's some kind of iterator you can use. But what's the iterator when it comes to unions? How do I map over each member of the union? Well, it turns out that TypeScript does this automatically. And this is what's called distributivity in TypeScript. And the way this works is we can actually treat these letters as though they were one thing, as though they were, for instance, just C, let's say. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to check T-type. So we're going to check if T-type extends C. And if not, we're going to return never, because never means that it uh, kind of can never be C. We're trying to remove it from the union. And when you add never to a union, it just removes, like it just removes itself, basically. And then if it doesn't extend C, we're going to return T-type. And now, wow without C is just A or B. Now that's unexpected because you would think that like T-type, C is part of these letters, right? So you would think, okay, T-type does extend C because C is included, so let's return never. But no, actually TypeScript automatically maps over each member of the union when it's doing a conditional type check like this. And this means that we can return different members of the union or manipulate them. So we can actually just return D, for instance. So now wow without C is A, B, or D. And this is pretty exciting because it means that you can really uh, tear into unions and do lots of really smart things with them.